How to avoid foreclosure. Hey, 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 Mike Wrigley, certified default advocate, distressed property expert, and your short sale specialist here. Thanks for joining us. Is a short sale the only alternative to have to avoid foreclosure? The answer is a resounding no. A short sale is but one of the nine alternatives. Last time we talked about options one through four. Let's explore options five through nine today. Number five is a partial claim. This would involve getting a second mortgage to cover the missed payments and back interest. Really, if your home is already upside down and you're struggling to make payments, what sense would that make? It is an option. Deed in lieu of foreclosures, number six. It has such a nice sound to it, doesn't it? Just turn the keys over to the bank, walk away from the house, and all debts are forgiven, right? Wrong. This is still a foreclosure. It still shows up on your credit as a foreclosure. And really, it's only a good deal for the bank, not for you. Uh, it's called a friendly foreclosure, but it's still a foreclosure. Number seven is bankruptcy. Bankruptcy is an answer, but it's not an end-all to beat-all. In most circumstances, the property will still have to be disposed of. One way or another, whether it's short sale or foreclosure. The bankruptcy should allow you to stay in the property a little longer, maybe as much as three to six months. But in that time period, you're going to be right back into the same boat you're in now. Uh, Property-wise, you'll be right back in the same boat. The property still has to be disposed of. Number eight, you can do nothing. Odd as it sounds, that is a solution. You won't avoid foreclosure, but if you're willing to risk the credit hit and potential liability for the unpaid balance on the second, nothing says you have to do anything except wait for the property to be sold on the courthouse steps. Number nine is you can sell the property. If you have equity, you can sell the property outright, maybe get a little bit of money back. If you don't, then you can short sell the property. There's pros and cons of a short sale as well. So it's always best to go ahead and get a free consultation before you do that. To get a better idea of when your home will be worth what you owe, log into www.shortsaleandloanmod.info for a free estimate or call me today for a free no obligation consultation. You call me today, you'll sleep better tonight, and you'll be glad you did. And thanks for joining us.